the Death Guard, formerly known as the Dusk Raiders, experts in attrition warfare due to their stubborn resistance. Originally sired from the genes of the warlike clans of Terra, their Primarch Mortarian relocated them to his homeworld of Barbarus, a toxic wasteland uninhabitable by all but the most resistant of beings. Here they garnered an innate resilience to poison and disease. Whether 40k or 30k, Death Guard are a lot of fun to paint as they are usually, for want of a better word, dirty. You can really go to town on the grime utilising heavy washes and pigments. This scheme I'm going to show you can be used for Horus Heresy or 40k under the Pallid Hand Vectorum, which is how I paint my Death Guard for 40k. Now let's get dirty. Dirty. <laughs> First off we're going to prime this model in a light grey and this is Vallejo Surface Primer. And because we're going to be washing this pretty heavily we don't really need to worry about any zenithal highlights. What we're going to do instead is hit it with some of this Skeleton Horde which is a Citadel Contrast paint. And we're going to mix this about one quarter with some Citadel Contrast Medium. And this is just going to make it a little bit more transparent so it's not so heavy. Also this extra contrast medium will help it move towards the recesses a little bit more. And this does look a little bit strong this colour still, even with that contrast medium. So we're going to fix that with a little bit of white ink. And just to make sure this doesn't undo that shading we just did, I'm going to add a little bit of airbrush thinner to this. Which will dilute the ink just a little bit. And we're going to apply this from above. And you don't need too much of this, just a few little sprays from above. And with our main armour colour done, we're going to start doing the details. And I'm going to be doing the trim with this Balthazar Gold. Now you don't have to do all the trim on this model, you can just leave them white as is pictured in the codex. But since when have Death Guard been codex compliant? And this gold is more on the coppery end of the gold spectrum. Which I think suits the creamy brownie colours that we're going to be going for on this model. I feel a shiny bright gold would look out of place on Death Guard. If I'm going to do this trim, just be careful because this colour is going to be pretty hard to replace seeing as it's not a straight out of the pot colour. And you'll probably find you need two coats of this to get a really nice even coverage. This Balthazar Gold, I usually have a bit of a problem mixing. But two coats usually fixes that problem. And I am also going to be picking out all the little rivets with this colour. For all the metallic parts, we're going to be using Vallejo Gunmetal Grey. This is going to be going on all the vents and pipes on the power pack, the bolt gun casing, and the housing and the teeth on the chainsaw. And for the shoulder pad colouring, I'm using Castellan Green. And there are a few different variations you can use for this green. There's one called Death World Forest, Strike and Green. They're all pretty similar, but this is just the one I chose. And for a little bonus detail, I'm just going to paint the right hand knee pad of this model. And this colour will come out quite streaky, so you're definitely going to need two coats of this. Just to ensure a nice smooth coverage. Going back to the metallics for a second, I'm going to be painting the barrel and the cartridge of this bolt gun. And this particular colour is Draw Aluminium from Vallejo Metal Colour. And while I'm here, I'm also going to highlight the exhaust vents that I did before. Now that all of our base colours are blocked in, we're going to start with the fun stuff. And this is Agrax Earthshade mixed with Citadel Contrast Medium. Mixed to about 70-30 in favour of Agrax Earthshade. And the reason I'm using the contrast medium is just to give us a bit of breathing space, just so we don't have to worry about putting too much on. Because we are going to be slopping this on pretty rigorously. And to be honest, if you do put too much on, it's not the end of the world because it's just going to look even dirtier. And this is going to give us that nice Death Guard look. They don't really bother cleaning their armor on Barbarus. And just for good measure, I'm going to wash the bolt gun with this Nolan oil. Next up, I'm just going to give these brassy gold areas a nice little highlight. And this is Gehenna's gold, and we're just going to selectively place this over the hard edges of this brass. For the eye lenses, I'm going to be using this Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint, and we're just going to place a small drop into each lens, and that should be enough. And getting the Agrax out one more time, we're going to be doing some very small downward strokes coming from the brass areas just to look like weeping rusty water. Gross. And just like all of these effects, try not to overdo it. Less is usually more. For the Death Guard shoulder on the shoulder pad, which looks like this, I'm going to be using a combination of Caliban Green and the transfer of a skull that I had lying around. And I'm going to start by drawing the circle in the middle, followed by the tendrils that extend from it. And once this is dry, I'm going to slap a transfer right over the middle. This is a nice little cheat. 
And when the transfer is dry, don't forget to hit it with a little bit of matte varnish. And on the opposite shoulder with some off-white, I'm just going to draw the 14 in Roman numerals. For the base, I decided to try something new, so I put down a layer of Astro Granite Debris and then slopped on some Nurgle's Rot while it was still drying. This is basically like a glossy, snotty texture paint from Citadel. Followed by a heavy wash of Known Oil, just to accentuate that texture. Followed by a quick dry brush with Dawnstone. There we have our putrid death guard. And these are so much fun to paint. I really recommend trying these at least once. Even just to give you a little bit of experience in painting that dirty, grimy style. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And keep your eyes peeled for new content coming soon. And may Papa Nurgle's blessings be upon you.